I'd like to welcome you to our garden. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, the smell of the flowers and the big white clouds. But you want to know what my favorite part of this garden is? It's the butterflies. Kylie, I love butterflies too. But did you know that butterflies don't start out as butterflies? No, they start out as an insect called a caterpillar. Yes, now most people would say that butterflies are beautiful, but I don't think anybody would say that caterpillars are beautiful. Uh -uh. They are worms, and they're slimy when you touch them, they're brown, and they live in the dirt. Yuck. Yuck, Ugh. seriously. Oh. oh my gosh, that actually reminds me of a story from the Bible. Hold on, I gotta Thanks. grab my Bible, you guys. All right, I'm gonna be turning to John 3.3. 3. Now, as I'm doing that, I have a question for you guys. Is the Bible true? You're right, it is true. The Bible is true. Now let me tell you a story from it. One day, a guy named Nicodemus went to talk to Jesus. Wait, let's say Nicodemus together. It's a really long name and kind of hard to remember. On three. One, two, three. Nicodemus! Nice job, guys. So, Nicodemus went to talk to Jesus and Jesus said something to him that he just didn't understand. He said, no one can see God's kingdom unless they are born again. Now this confused Nicodemus. He just couldn't understand how someone could be born again. Actually, a lot of people are confused by this. They just don't understand how someone can be born again. Like that can even be possible? Kylie, remember when I was sharing that I love butterflies so much? Yeah. Well, there's a few reasons I love them. One, they are so colorful. Two, they can fly. I can't fly, can you? I sure can't fly. <laughs> no, but my most favorite reason that I love butterflies is because it reminds us what Jesus meant when he said that we have to be born again. See, today we were able to release butterflies into our garden in hopes that it might help us remember and understand what Jesus meant. I love butterflies and they are one of the most beautiful creations, but they didn't start out that way. They didn't. They started out as caterpillars that had to spin themselves into a cocoon and then sit there for several weeks. That's crazy, huh? But then when they're done sitting in their cocoons, they come out and they are beautiful butterflies. Have any of you seen a caterpillar turn into a cocoon? Yeah, that's pretty cool, me too. Now, God didn't just stick some wings on butterflies or splash some paint on their wings. No, the cocoon is where the butterfly goes in to become a new creation, something new, something beautiful. Kylie, that is such a great picture of what Jesus meant when he said that we have to be born again. In the Bible, it states, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. When we invite Jesus to come into our lives and our hearts, we become a new creation. He doesn't just slap on a little paint. No, he makes us brand new. Now we may not change on the outside like a butterfly does, but when Jesus comes into our hearts, he forgives us of our sin and he fills our heart with his love. And then we are able to be a bright shining light for Jesus and he makes us more like him. That's right. Oh, guys, that was so awesome to hear. Actually, can we pray together? Let's fold our hands together, close our eyes, bow our heads. Dear God, thank you so much for sending Jesus to die on the cross so we can be new just like the butterfly. Thank you for making us more and more like you every single day. We love you so very much. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Oh, Carrie, you yeah. know what? I want to remember this Bible story always. Is there something we can do to remind ourselves? I think so, yeah. I think we can make something that we can put around our house to help us remember. You can put this maybe on your refrigerator or by your bed, just really anywhere. And what we're gonna make today is a butterfly and you really don't need much. All you need is a coffee filter, a pipe cleaner, and some markers. Or you could use something different, like some paint with some paper. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw some paint wow. on this butterfly. That's 
purple. And you know what, Carrie? I'm gonna let you do the very best part of this project. We're gonna fold this butterfly in half and watch it become a new creation. I can't wait. Are you guys so ready? <laughs> right now, it just looks like a blob of paint. But watch, once Carrie folds it together, what happens? You guys ready? Here we go. You guys ready to see it? Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa, I love it. That's gonna be so beautiful, <laughs> hanging on the fridge or in yes. your room. So oh, pretty. I love it. Now, Carrie, there's something that I think is a little more important. I think that if we have any questions about asking Jesus into our heart, or actually any questions about being a Christian, we should probably ask an adult around us. What do you think? That's so true. Honestly, sometimes it's confusing and it's really nice to have a grown up in our life that we can ask big, hard questions like this. Yeah. So feel free to ask a grown up around you what it means to be a Christian and how to ask Jesus into your heart. All right, guys, we have to get back to our garden. We have a lot of gardening to do. So we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.